Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing kind of more of a casual book haul with you guys just sharing some physical books that I bought, some ebooks that I either purchased or ebook arcs or anything like that. Just a bunch of books that I'm going to, that I bought recently or that I received recently or that I took out from the library. Yes. Before we get into this video, I have not uploaded a video since the death of George Floyd and since, since a lot of the protests that started from the Black Lives Matter movement, I didn't want to upload that week just to amplify black voices and I also didn't think it was really my place to come on here and act like everything was fine and great um, while people are dying and people are being killed by police. I'm with you guys and I do strongly support the Black Lives Matter movement and will be making this more of a priority on my channel as well to educate myself further and read books by black authors featuring black characters and just educate myself more. I've been very active on Instagram and Twitter talking about everything that's been going on with the protests and the police and all of those situations but but I want you guys to know that this is a safe space for everyone, specifically my black viewers. It is a safe space for you here. I will also be linking some very important links in the description, including petitions that you should sign. You should really sign them. It takes like two minutes to sign a petition. It's really not hard. Not even two minutes. Honestly, once you have your account in, it can take like two clicks to sign a petition. It's really not that hard. So donate if you can, but if you don't have the money to or anything like that at the moment, because it is still COVID and things are still happening and all that. But if you can't do that, there's what live streams you can watch on YouTube that the ad revenue goes to the Black Lives Matter movement. Lots of links for you guys down below, including I will be linking some black book tours that I just really enjoy watching. I will have them linked down below. Definitely check their channels out. Don't just support them now. Don't just subscribe to them now. Watch their videos, hear what they have to say, listen to them. Don't just subscribe and then just never think about it again until the next Black Lives Matter movement or the next death that occurs because that's not fair and they shouldn't be just a channel you subscribe to to feel better about yourself. <laughs> like it's really not about you sweetie. Anyways, I'll have that link down below as well as a black booktuber playlist that was created by Myona Reeds so you guys can check that out and follow more black booktubers. Amplify black voices. Read by more black authors. I think everybody could do better at doing that so I myself included I will be also making an effort to do that and I have been educating myself more and taking especially last week to educate myself and learn more about the black community the history of police brutality if you guys have not looked at Twitter Instagram or any other social media that is documenting these protests definitely do so as the news is not showing everything that's happening so yeah but without further ado, let's get into some of these books. I don't know a lot about a lot of these, but some of these are continuations and series, and some of them are, are just by authors that I really enjoy, so. First up here is Clap When You Land, and this is by Elizabeth Acevedo. So I absolutely adored With the Fire on High, and I really liked The Poet X as well. So this book is also written in verse, just like The Poet X is, but I don't know too much about this other than the fact that it follows, I think, two sisters, and they have to meet up somewhere on a plane, but they both come from different places, something like that. I'm honestly not really sure what it's about. I don't really want to know too much what it's about because I really just want to go into it and just be surprised and enjoy it. I knew very little going into her other books and I absolutely like loved them. So I'm really excited to read this one. It's definitely a book that I'm hoping to get to very, very soon because <sighs> I love Elizabeth Acevedo's writing and there's just so much about her that's pretty cool. But look at, look at, the, na look at the naked book though. Like this is beautiful. And this book is just not only gorgeous underneath, but I really hope that it's just gonna be a hard hitting story just like her other books are. And yeah, I will let you guys know what I think of this when I pick it up. And if you guys have read this, let me know your thoughts on it down below. If you liked it or not, let me know. Here I have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. This, this book I have been meaning to buy for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And this is, this is a book about a 16 year old girl named Brie who is into rapping, I believe. We're mostly hyped for The Hate You Give, but I've also heard people say some good things about this one as well. I actually got this in an Indigo book box I ordered and it came with a really nice book pouch as well. So if you guys are Canadian, definitely check if that's still in stock. I might link it down below because it was an excellent price and you got a pouch and some little swag that went along with this book. So I'll have that link down below if it's still available. Next up here, I have Heartstopper Volume 2, but this series I've never owned. <laughs> And I read the first two volumes at my friend Kayla's house from Literature Reads and I 
loved them. Like they were, they made me so happy. They, they, they were phenomenal. They are male male romances. They're really fluffy. They're graphic novels, but they still also deal with some hard hitting topics that I feel like a lot of people don't mention in their reviews. But this is the second one. I ordered all three off Book Depository because I just was like, I've been dying to do it for so long. I was just like, okay, I'm going to buy them. And this is the only one that's arrived yet. So the other two are in the, coming in the mail, but volume two arrived. I'm very excited to have all of them and have them together. And then I'm hoping to read all three, like reread the first two and then read the last, read the most recent one. So read all three. Yes. I have Imagine Me by Tahara Mafi. Uh, this is the final book in the Shatter Me series. I've been reading this series for such a long time. I read the original trilogy back in like elementary school and I read the most I read the fourth one and I haven't read the fifth or the sixth one yet but I really want to buy this obviously this is actually one of my favorite of all the covers I don't know if that matters to any of you but this is one of my favorite out of all the covers I think it's really pretty but this story basically follows a girl who's touches lethal and we see her character development and also it's, it's dystopian it's fun there's also some romance in here and I'm sure you guys have heard of this series so I don't think I really need to talk to you guys too much about it and I can't also give you a specific synopsis for this book because spoilers and I would spoil myself so next I have Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare this book I was hesitant to buy for a little bit just because I'm not fully caught up yet. I still need to read, well, just Queen of Air and Darkness, really. And then I will read this. But this cover, again, beautiful. There's so many beautiful covers in this video. I love it. But the book is a new series of hers, the Last Hours series. And I haven't heard too many people talk about it as of yet, like their actual thoughts on the book. I've seen a lot of people like haul it and stuff, but I haven't heard a lot of people just share their thoughts yet. So I'm interested to see what other people think and what I think of this book. I definitely want to dive into the Shadow Hunter world again pretty soon and just it gives me a place of comfort <laughs> and I know a lot of other readers feel that way as well. And the funny thing with this one is I got it in the mail and I was trying to figure out who sent it to me because I didn't remember buying it and my mom didn't buy it and we were just very confused. I checked my order history and it turns out I did buy it. I just totally forgot. It was just a really weird time because I was literally trying to figure out who got me this. For a little bit, I was pretty confused. I was trying to figure it out. Who who got me this? But I'm really happy that I decided to order it for myself. It was um, it was it was a good price, and I realized that that's why I kind of ordered it one night, and then I guess I forgot about it. So, yeah, I'm really excited to have this with me, and it usually is right here on my shelf. But for the sake of this video, I just put the Infernal Devices graphic novels here, just so it fills up the space a little bit. But yeah, this is gonna go over here and look super beautiful next to all the other books. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys about some arcs that I got recently. Um, the first is My Eyes Are Up Here, and this is a book that I just finished recently. It deals with the topics of body positivity. I follow a character named Greer, and her, the big thing that is talked about in this book is that her bra size is a 30H. It follows her kind of how people react to her body, how people look at her, and how she also views herself and her body image, um, especially as a young teen, and how that kind of just affects her, what she thinks about it, and also how that plays into romance and that kind of thing. I was so disappointed by this book. It's not a wrap-up, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but thank you so much to Penguin Teen for sending me these books as well and for, like, approving my arcs and stuff. But I also have Something Happened to Allie Greenleaf, and I attended this influencer live show thing that was I was invited to by Penguin, and they talked about a bunch of books that are coming out later this year. And this is the one that I decided that I would want to read, so I got to request it, and they sent it to me. Um, they sent me an e-copy. But... This, all I know is it's, I obviously knew more when I was listening to the live show, that's why I picked this one, but at the moment I just know that this one deals with sexual assault and it's supposed to be a really hard-hitting contemporary coming-of-age story and I'm just so excited to read this and learn more what it's about and be able to talk to you guys about it when I finish it. Last but not least is A Wicked Magic and this one I picked because it's like a Sabrina, they mentioned like it's a cross between Sabrina the Teenage Witch and like something else and anything magical anything witchy vibes I really like about this book and that's why I requested it in the first place and I just think it'll be a pretty cool read so hopefully um, I enjoy that and I'll be sure to list down below when these books do come out so that you guys can keep your eyes out for them if you're interested in them. For myself on my Kindle app is A Crowded Loneliness and this is by R.H. Sin. This is one of his new poetry collections and this one actually talks kind of about COVID and loneliness and isolation and doesn't specifically say COVID-19, I don't think, but it's, it was written very recently and it talks a lot about loneliness and isolation and those kind of topics. So I just finished reading this one not long ago 
and I quite liked it so I picked this one up it was only like a few bucks on the Kindle store going to my library apps I'm currently listening to the audiobook for all boys aren't blue and this is by George M Johnson this I was like I heard Jesse from both of books talk about it a lot and I was just like okay audiobook is only five hours I'm already like over halfway through today I just started it it's it's really really good it's a Men memoir manifesto and it talks a lot about what it's like to be a black gay man growing up in society and it also discusses the topics of like how our gender is brought into things before we're even born yet and it just it's so interesting so far and I can't wait to discuss it further with you guys and I'm just really learning a lot from this book I would suggest it and I got that one from Hoopla so I was, I was super happy to see that I also have on Hoopla You Should See Me in a Crown by Lee Johnson and I don't know too much about this one but I saw it on there and I know it's by a black author so I really wanted to support them I believe it's she needs to run for, for prom queen to win a scholarship but she's competing against other girls and things like that and I think this causes a lot of conflict and a lot of issues and I don't know maybe, maybe they've never had a black prom queen I'm not sure exactly but you should see me in a crown it sounds like such a nice kind of fun story as well and it's nice to read about black people and not just talking about police brutality but also just living their lives there you guys have it that is my little book haul some library books some e-copies e-arcs and some physical books that I bought recently let me know your thoughts in the comments down below I definitely used to buy way more books than this like the fact that I have five books in front of me that I physically that I bought in the past like month or two is kind of a big deal like it's more than usual because before I used to have like 30 book book hauls but I've been doing pretty good this year and not buying too many books so let me know your thoughts in the comments on these books if you've read any of them if you've liked them if you haven't liked them let me know definitely check out the resources that I'm going to be linking down below it's such an important cause try to do more learn from others and all we can a lot that we can do right now is educate ourselves and learn and continue to make not only our world a better place but also make booktube a more comfortable environment for the black community and thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a like comment down below subscribe if you would like to and i have all my social media links in the description box including my instagram and twitter goodreads and all of the things like that i will see you guys all super soon with a new video